hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Joyce so today I'm coming your way with adoption the child through foster care. place with a foster parent and then in the hope that the child's right will be terminated or that the, the family will voluntary okay give the their right give the right of the child to the state for the child to be adopted and the second one that I want to share with you uh, is the adoption through foster care where the child's right, everything has been given to the state or has been terminated and the child is ready for his or her forever home. What are the requirements of adopting from the foster care? I am in Texas, okay? So it will be different. I know it will be different from uh, your state and my state. It will be different. So. I think the best way is Google the foster care adoption uh, or adoption through foster care in your state and please check what are the requirements. But I am in Texas so I'm going to give what I saw on the website of Texas. I'm giving you from dfps.texas.gov. Okay. It says requirement for foster slash adopt families. The basic requirements were when you go on the website you'll find more about it but i'm going to share with you what i found the basic requirement it says the prospective foster adoptive parent may be single or married and must the following be at least 21 years of age financially stable and responsible mature adult two complete an application staff will assist you if you prefer share information regarding their background and lifestyle the next one is provide relative and non-relative references the next is show proof of marriage and or divorce if applicable agree to a home study which includes visits with all household members allow staff to complete a criminal history background check and an abuse neglect check on all adults in the household and the last attend a free training to learn about to learn about issues of abused and neglected children the training provides an opportunity for the family and DFPS to assess whether foster care or adoption is best for the family or the family may withdraw from the meetings at any time okay so you don't have it's not like it because I've gone to the meeting I have to blah 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 mm -mm. you have your right to decline whatever where even whatever stage you are in the process you can back off if when you get to know this is not for me and adoption is not for everybody it's not seriously i got to understand when somebody say say that oh my god it's i felt like the child is my own baby i i, I have had that experience before and it's true it's very true so it means that when you meet or when you go through the process as and it's not for you you will quickly know you will feel it and you know how it works okay there are uh, I think additional requirements on all that that comes with it but but the best but the best way for you to go through it is I think you going on the website or finding information or research wherever you want to get the information uh, you have I think uh, I am saying I think I think because I'm not qualified to talk about any of this it's just a mom information I found out and I want to share with you um, so may, just maybe a child might find a home or we might find our joy so the website we can search and find someone on your human and health services website when you go there i think they have they might have the adoption uh 
site or adoption through foster care site on it. And also dfps.texas.gov. The, the internet is torn of a torn and turn of information that will blow your mind up. I have personally attended uh, the information sessions. Okay, so one or two things that I heard I want to share with you. But when you go there yourself, when you book an appointment, I did mine through Zoom. I think they have. I don't know whether they have personal, but in my county. I had it through Zoom. So, what happened? What I heard from the from the from the meeting was that, you know, children from foster care have gone through trauma one way or the other. See, so in this case, they need more attention, more care. I know every every child needs it, but but I I I believe what they said. I heard this story from a YouTube channel where uh, one example of her trauma was a little baby girl somewhere, I don't know whether her age, but I think some one year or some months, eight months or something, or less, I don't know where, what happened. But but when, when they adopted her, right, she sometimes... Uh, she sometimes cries, right? She will cry and she doesn't want nobody to console her or comfort her. All she needed or all she wanted was her blanket from the foster care or from the, the, the place they, uh, they adopted her. And that was the only thing that can soothe her or that can calm her down, okay? Until some time that the child <coughs> was able to sleep even on them when he was uh, when she or he was holding the baby so you know kids like this if you don't understand what he's doing you'll be like oh maybe this child doesn't like me or whatever but it takes time i know even grown-ups when you go somewhere you don't just run <laughs> run around everywhere it takes time for us to adjust or adapt to a situation or a place so i think uh, it's hard for a baby who that you know environment changes that blah 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 those things it takes god's grace to bring up children so we ask for grace through all aspects of us raising our babies raising our kids this takes me to the second point of how much does it cost how much does it cost i asked this question at the meeting and they gave me a quote but I cannot give it out to you. But trust me, find a website and please research it yourself. It will, it will surprise you. It's not like that. You have huge money before you, you, you do it. Simply because the state comes in, right, to help. So the main uh, things that they were telling me was, they told me was, you pay for fingerprint and uh, home study. Yes. I don't know how much that costs, but you know, at least you know how much fingerprints cost. So please go on your website, find the meeting days, go on there and ask whatever questions you want to ask. It will surprise you.